opioid epidemic not going away. Last week, we told you that men are dying after they overdose at nearly three times the rate of women in the United States. And you may say, well, why do I really care? I mean, these people chose to take the pills. They did it to themselves. But, you know, this problem is being compounded by an overprescribing of powerful drugs such as fentanyl. So you can see here in this graph next to me that people are dying at alarming rates from overdose overdoses at a higher rate from fentanyl or other prescription drugs. This is much higher than what people normally believe to be killers like cocaine and heroin. Another story we're following tonight, an opioid addiction can really impact anyone you know. While the effects of these drugs can negatively impact a person, a doctor says the symptoms of withdrawal can be severe. And we've been reporting on the death of an inmate inside the Clay County Jail. Today, we got the medical examiner's report showing that opioid withdrawals were a contributing factor in Michelle Bewley's death on March 5th. Tonight on your side, Troy Kless joins us with the new details. That's right, the medical examiner's report states that hypertensive heart disease was the cause of Bewley's death, but the report also says that opiate withdrawal was a contributing factor. A doctor says that can be painful if someone is not given treatment for withdrawal. An individual experiencing opiate withdrawal uh, feels like they're going to die, and most often they do not. Dr. Raymond Palm specializes in addiction psychiatry. He says quitting hard drugs can be difficult. It used to be very, very difficult uh, when it was just heroin. It's now become even more so. It has become almost impossible for most to quit because of fentanyl. Fentanyl, heroin, and cocaine abuse with opiate withdrawal was a diagnosis in Michelle Bewley's report. The cause of death, hypertensive heart disease, the manner of death ruled natural. Witnesses say they saw Bewley screaming for hours and never got help. They were like pain screams, you know what I mean? The Clay County Sheriff's Office says that medical is called and will watch an inmate experiencing withdrawals for 15 minute observations. The Sheriff's Office says they cannot discuss any medical treatments regarding inmates. Dr. Palm feels that people experiencing opioid addiction are found in all walks of life. The right approach in treating addiction could be the difference between life and death. They're going to be found in our criminal justice system. They're going to be found everywhere in every walk of life. Uh, let's adjudicate the criminal issues legally, but let's treat them medically. And I asked the Clay County Sheriff's Office if their jail offers treatments for inmates suffering withdrawals. They say that medical services managers can consult with a physician before giving an inmate treatment. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement says that they are still investigating Bewley's death. In the newsroom, Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side. Troy, thanks. And 130 people dying every day now from opioid overdoses. And some of you may have felt what we're talking about really close to home. It could be maybe a mother, a daughter of yours, an aunt. You know, maybe a father, a brother, or an uncle, or even a close friend. And we talked to Dr. Christine Caulfield about how this is impacting families. We're seeing a 30% increase in children coming into the foster care system because one or both parents have overdosed, leaving these children orphaned and uh, unable to care for themselves with no ancillary family members able to care for them. So if you or someone you know needs help, please call the National Drug Helpline. They offer 24-7 drug and alcohol help to those struggling with addiction. The National Hotline can provide information regarding treatment and recovery. That phone number, 1-888-633-3239.